Hi, in this movie, we're going to take a look at how we can make our own custom shelves. So let's say if you're working on a project and the project requires you to go to, let's say, something under polygons like mesh, maybe smooth, or edit mesh, let's say bridge, extrude. Let's say you also are using some uh, things under surfaces, edit nerves, attach surfaces. You're using something under dynamics. You're using something under animation. So it can be really, really um, time consuming to go every time to these different drop downs over here and to different menu sets. So Maya gives you some nice uh, custom shelves that you can make. So these are all the different shelves over here. So these are all the different tabs. So there's a shelf for curves and these are all the buttons over here. There's a shelf for surfaces. I can even make my surfaces from here. There's a shelf for polygons, subdies and so on. But right at the end over here there's something called a custom shelf. So you can go here and you can see it's empty. So I can pretty much add any buttons over here that I want, just like these buttons. Or you can also go to this drop down arrow and you can make your new shelf. So let's say if I wanted to make a shelf like a miscellaneous shelf for a lot of things, I can go to this drop down and say new shelf. Or you can use the custom shelf, your choice. So this one, I'm just going to call it miscellaneous, let's say MISC. And the way you can add shelf buttons, it's very simple. Let's say if I'm going to add a shelf button for modify center pivot. I can simply hold down my control and shift and say modify center pivot. You can see that it's added over there, the button. I can go to window outliner, hold down control and shift. I can go to window hypergraph. I can also go to let's say animate set driven key set. And there you go, all these custom buttons are nicely added over here. And if at any time you don't want the buttons, uh, there's a few different ways you can do it, but I would go to this drop down, go to shelf editor, and the editor opens up, and this is your selected shelf over here, and these are the buttons. Simply click on this little trash bin.